I G T V I G T V For real estate Need I say more? What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ricky Carruth and today we're gonna to talk about Instagram's new little feature called IGTV and how you can sell more real estate using this new feature. If you're new to my channel, I'm a 16 year real estate agent. I've written two books, I coach real estate agents for free and I've sold over 100 properties a year for the last five years running as a single agent. I'm bringing you value every week, teaching you everything I know about selling real estate and hoping that you can take some of it and go crush it. And my overall goal is to help reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry. So last week, IGTV came out, and for the past 48 hours or so, I've been playing around with it. I've posted three episodes. You can go to my Instagram account and check those out. So a few basic things to know is that Facebook owns Instagram. They're integrated. And Instagram has over 1 billion monthly users. So you mean to tell me that Instagram is now a platform with over 1 billion active users for you to push content to for free? Yes. If you're not taking advantage of Instagram, you need to go to your phone right now, download the Instagram app, and create an account. Immediately search Ricky Carruth and follow me. Shoot me a DM, say hey, how are you doing, and let me know if you have any questions I can answer for you. I get hundreds of DMs and I answer every single one of them. What is IGTV? IGTV is a feature that Instagram opened up for long form video. 15 seconds to 10 minutes, and unless you have more followers, a certain amount of followers, you can do up to 60 minutes. You have to post your video on IGTV in a vertical frame, not horizontal like YouTube. So that makes it interesting. That gives content creators a different look, something new to play with. So there's a lot of talk out there about IGTV competing with YouTube. So my thoughts on that are this, YouTube is YouTube and IGTV is IGTV. It's two completely different things. YouTube is more of a search friendly platform, whereas IGTV you can only search by users. You cannot search titles of videos or certain content or subjects on IGTV. And I hope that that's something that they change. I hope that they make IGTV where it's more searchable, where you can search for titles and subjects rather than just followers. Because if that becomes available and they open up that feature on IGTV, then I'm gonna start posting lots of videos so that I can rank them as high as I can. But for now, as IGTV is brand new, I think it's very important just to post a lot of content there and see where this thing goes. Just so you have another platform of content. All right, let's get into some of the functions of this new feature. Okay, first we're gonna to go to Instagram. Okay, we're gonna to go to our profile. Okay, the first thing you're gonna notice when you're at, on your homepage of your Instagram is you'll notice this IGTV icon at the top. Okay, you can click that and that's gonna take you to IGTV. Okay, the first tab is for you. This is gonna be all the content that Instagram picked for you, they think that you're gonna like, okay? Then you have the following tab. That's the people that you are following, okay? Then you have the popular tab. That's gonna be what's trending or what's most popular right now. Okay, then you have the continue watching tab, which will uh, have the videos that you watched partially and you can finish watching them. So right here is my IGTV station. I've got three videos in there right now. Um, so to start a station, you just go to IGTV, you click the, the settings button, you create channel. And then once you're in there, if you go to your IGTV profile, which is right here, we're gonna hit this little plus symbol and that's gonna take us to a place where we can um, download a video. It's gotta be 15 seconds to 10 minutes long. Okay, and it has to be vertical. If you notice, I have a lot of um, horizontal videos in my phone, but they didn't pop up when I hit that plus sign. Only the vertical videos are gonna show up. Okay, so I've uploaded um, videos on IGTV three different ways. I have three videos and I did them all differently. Okay, the first one I did, I just recorded it right off my phone. 
Um, I was driving home Friday and I did a video on what I was thinking about and I posted it. That was just to kind of test out IGTV, see exactly how it all worked. Then the second video, I actually edited that one. I took one of my horizontal videos and I edited it in um, Premiere Pro and then I uploaded it to my phone and then for some reason it wouldn't upload. And so what I had to do then was is I did a screen record. I just played the video and I did a screen record. Apple phone has a screen recorder already built in. Um, some Samsungs or Androids do as well. Or I downloaded the app since I have an Android. DU Recorder um, is a nice screen recording app that you can use. Um, so you can record you know, whatever's on your screen, whatever video is playing on your screen, it'll save it on your phone and you can upload that to IGTV. And then the third way that I uploaded a video to IGTV was I went Instagram Live and then after the live, I can hit the save button, it'll save the live video to your phone and then I uploaded it to IGTV. Now, the live video was about 11 minutes, so it wouldn't upload, I had to trim a minute off of it to where it would even show up um, on, on the, as one of the options, as one of the videos that I could upload. So that's the three ways that I found that you can upload uh, videos on IGTV, and that is film something directly on your phone, or screen record something on your phone, or go live and save it once the live is over, and then upload it to I IGTV. So you can get to IGTV two ways. One, from the home page at the top. You can click the IGTV button there, or if you're at your, on your profile, and you have an IGTV station, it will be right there under your bio. And you can click your channel and then you're there. This is how people are gonna find you on IGTV, is either through the channel of people that they're following or if they visit your profile, they'll see your IGTV channel right there and they can click it and start watching your IGTV videos. Okay, so that's a little bit about IGTV. That is how you upload to IGTV. So how do you sell real estate using IGTV? I would say this, if you have an Instagram account that is for your real estate business, go ahead and create a channel and then start uploading some content around some of your listings of attractions in the area, of you giving a restaurant a good review, of you interviewing a business owner. All the video content you normally put on social media, create that same content for IGTV and get some content put on your channel. That way when people visit your profile and they click that IGTV icon, they'll actually see some content and become involved in what you have going on. Like I said, this is just another channel, another platform to get your name out there, another way for people to see you. Social media is all about attention. And right now, IGTV being the newest thing is what's gonna start gaining a lot of traction really quick, and you do not wanna miss the boat. I hope this video has helped you at least even begin an Instagram account if you didn't have one, or start an IGTV channel and start producing content around your real estate business or maybe even just got to know me a little bit better either way it goes I hope you have fun I truly want to help you succeed click subscribe and hit the bell we'll talk to you soon